Welcome. Today, we will complete the previous lecture, financial statements. In this lecture, we will explain how we can to calculate the tax and how we can to prepare balance sheet and how we can to prepare cash flow statements. The first section, corporate taxes. How we can to calculate the taxes according to income statements? A firm income tax liability is calculated using tax table income and the tax rates on the corporate income. This example, corporate tax rate, example, if the net income from zero to $50,000, margin tax rate will be 15%. If the income from $50,000, thousand one dollar to seventy five dollar will be twenty five that's mean margin tax rate as progressive with margin tax rate if the company achieved high in net income margin tax rate will be high example the table include the rates range from fifteen to 39, the tax rates are progressive, large corporation with high profits will tend to pay more taxes compared to smaller firms with lower profits. Marginal and av average tax rate. There are different between marginal and average taxes rate, how we can to distinguish between marginal and average taxes rate. Now the company has $100,000 as net income. How we can to pay the tax? $50,000 we will pay 15%. While Seventeen, seventy-five thousand dollars will be twenty-five percent. One hundred thousand dollars will be thirty-four percent. That's marginal tax rate. But in the actual, we will not pay thirty-four percent. Why? In fifteen thousand, in fifty thousand dollars, we will be only seven thousand five hundred dollars, fifteen percent. But in seventy. Five thousand dollars will be six thousand two hundred fifty dollars. The total will be thirteen thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. After that, we will pay thirty four eight thousand five hundred dollars. The total will be twenty two thousand two hundred fifty dollars. Now, when we dividend. $22,250 dollars on $100,000 dollars, the average tax rate will be 22.5. The percent will be 22.5, not 34. For that, there are difference between average tax rate and marginal tax rate. Average tax rate was 22.25% while marginal tax rate was 39%. Second section, we will explain how we can to prepare balance sheet. The balance sheet provides a snapshot of the firm financial position for a specific period six months, one year, but usually we prepared balance sheet as uh, yearly, as minimum. The balance sheet is defined by the following equation. Total assets equal total liabilities minus total shareholders equity. Main equation, total assets equal 
total liabilities minus total equity. Total assets represent the resources owned by the company. That dividends to current assets and fixed assets. While total liabilities represent the total amount of the money the firm owes to creditors as account payable. While total shareholders' equity refers to the differences in the value of the firm total assets, the differences between total assets and total liabilities will be total equity, total shareholders' equity. In general accounting accepted principles require the firm report assets on, on its balance sheet using the historical cost. We prepared balance sheet according to historical cost, but cash and held assets held for sales, such marketable securities, inventories, are an ex exception to the role. Only cash and assets held for sales as inventories. These assets are reported using the lower of their cost or current market value. That means we should to compare between book value and market value. We will record the lower of cost. Example, if we have inventory recorded by $1 million, but the inventory now in the market $1,200,000, we will record $1 million, no change. But if the inventory in the market $800,000, we will record $800,000. We will adjust, we will change, not $1 million, because the all include using the lower of their cost. Now, assets whose value is expected to decline over the time. Example. When we need to buy any equipment, example laptop, the laptop now equal $1,000, but after one year or two years will not equal $1,000, will be decline. That means we will decline the depreciation. Is reported as net equipment which is equal to the historical cost minus accumulated depreciation. There are many methods for uh, calculate the depreciation, stride methods, declining method. Net value reported on balance sheet could be significantly different from the market value of assets, but we will depend on historical cost. We will not change. We will not adjust because we use the historical cost. That's explain about balance sheet. Uh, total balance sheet, we have two sides left and right. In left side, there are assets. Assets include current assets, cash, account receivables, inventories, and other current assets. Assets, dividend to current assets and fixed assets. Fixed assets includes lands, equipment, um, other long assets. In right side, liabilities and total equity. Liabilities includes 
short-term liabilities, long-term liabilities. Example about short-time liabilities, account payable. Long-term debits, example, bonds or loans. And shareholders' equity, common stock, preferred stock, retained earning. Now, total current liability, short time or short long liabilities and long term liabilities plus short equity equal total liability and equity. In this figure, total assets equal total liabilities and stockholders equity. The balance sheet includes the following main conv components, assets and source of financing. Assets will be in left hand side, while source of financing will be right hand side. Assets include current assets and fixed assets, while source of financing includes current liabilities and long-term liabilities, also owner equity. Current assets. Current assets consist of firm cash plus other assets the firm expect to convert to cash within 12 months or less. Example, inventors, account receivable. While fixed assets, assets we cannot to convert to cash less than 12 months. Fixed assets used to increase the protection process. Example, equipment, lands, cars, Current liabilities. Current liabilities represent the amount that the firm owes to creditors. Example, account payable. But must re rebate within 12 months or less during the year. But if the amount was more than one year, that will be long-term liabilities. Long-term liabilities refer to debt with long time, more than one year. Example, bonds, loans from the banks. The stockholders equity. Now, balance sheet include assets, liability, assets, dividend to current assets and fixed assets, liability, dividend to current liabilities and long-term liabilities, also shareholders equity. Shareholders equity include common stock, preferred stock, retained earning and capital bid. For that, the stockholders is broken down into two components. The amount the company received from selling stock to investors. When we sell the shares, we will receive the money. That will be shareholders' equity. And the amount of the firm retained earning. Retained earnings are the re are the portion of the net income has been retained. Example: If the company has one million net income and pay as dividend five hundred thousand dollar as dividend, five hundred thousand dollar will be as retained earnings. 
the retained earning, the company has many chooses. Maybe use this amount for cash process, maybe for invested. Thus, stockholders' equity equal bar value of common stock plus bid in capital and retained earning. We can also express stockholders' equity as shareholders' equity, total assets minus total liabilities equal total shareholders' equity. The equation total assets minus total liabilities will give us total shareholders' equity. Firm liquidity and networking capital. Liquidity refers to the speed with which N, the assets can be converted to cash. Now we should distinguish between the current assets include example inventors, account receivables, this is assets can be easy to convert to cash. Why fixed assets, lands, equipment is not easy to convert the cash because if we need to sell the inventories, the value will not change as less. While if we need to sell the equipment, the value will be less than on bar value. We can measure the firm's liquidity by computing networking capital. Network, networking capital equal current assets minus current liabilities. Networking capital as index for evaluate liquidity for the, the firm. Also, we can to measure the liquidity by current ratio, by dividend current assets on current liabilities. The liquidity position very important for the company. Why? If the company has high net income and no cash, this will be a big problem for the company because the company has not ability to pay or rebate for the creditors. For that, the liquidity position is very important. For the company, if the company has good liquidity, it's good position to pay the debts on the time and consequently very liquid. Also, if the company has good liquidity, maybe to expand the invested or open new projects. While the company has no cash, the liquidity position is not good, no ability to expand it in the investments. How we can to prepare the balance sheet? This is example for HG company. Balance sheet prepared in 31 December. The balance sheet include two, se two sections, assets and liabilities. In assets include current assets, cash, account receivable, inventors, while fixed assets includes um, lands, equipment, cars, and right 
side include liabilities and total equity. Total liability include current liabilities, account payable, accurate expenses, short-term notes. Long-term debits includes long uh, bonds, loans, while total equity includes common stock bar value, bid in the capital, retained earning. Now, total liabilities and total equity, we will calculate together in right side. Example for solve how we can to prepare balance sheet. This example, in this example we have many elements, many accounts, cash, account receivable, rebate rate, inventory, leasehold improvements, accumulated depreciation, accounts payable, accrued expenses, unearned expenses, long-term liabilities, common stock, retained earning. How we can to prepare balance sheet according this accounts? We will start in the left side, current assets. Start with the cash, account receivable, repaired rent, inventory. After that, we will calculate total current assets. After that, we will calculate long-term assets. Long-term assets in this example include leasehold improvements. Less, after that, we will minus accumulated depreciation for arrive to net leasehold improvement. After that, we will calculate current assets and fixed assets for arrive to total assets. In left side, we will record liabilities and total equity. We will start current liabilities, account payables, accrued expenses, unearned expenses unearned revenue, after that we will calculate total current li liabilities and record long-term liabilities for arrive to total liabilities. Third section in balance sheet, owner equities. Owner equities in this example include retained earning, common stock, after that, we will calculate total owner equity. Now, total liability and total owner equity equal total liabilities and total owner equities. Now, total assets equal total liabilities and owner equity. In this example, total assets was 1,071. $900, while total liabilities and owner equity, $171,900. Book value and historical cost. Book value based on historical cost reported in the balance sheet can differ from market value. Now, main idea in this subject, we should to distinguish between book value and market value. Book value based on historical cost. Why market value based on the value in the market now? Why there are different between the market value and book value? Because two reasons. 
The first, inflation. Inflation affects the market prices of assets and depreciation adjustment. Now, in third section, how we can to prepare cash flow. Cash flow statements is used by firms to explain the change their cash balance over a period of time by identifying all own sources and uses of cash. The cash flow statements includes change in cash balance equal ending cash balance minus ending cash balance in this year minus previous year. The cash flow statements based the idea, the source and users of the cash. The source of cash is an activity that brings cash into the firm, for example, sales of equipment, while use of cash is an activity that causes cash to leave the firm, example, payment of the taxes. Cash flow The format for traditional cash flow statements Cash flow statements include cash flow from operating activities cash flow from investing activities and cash flow from financing activities For arrive to ending cash balance operating activities represent the company core business including sales and expenses basically an activity that evicts net income for the period while investing activities include the cash flow that arise out of the purchase and sales for long term, such equipment and plants. While financing activities includes represent the change in the firm use of debts and equity, such issue of new shares or payment of dividends. Now, when we bear bet cash flow, cash flow includes three segments. The first, operating cash flow, investment cash flow, and financing cash flow. This example, how we can to prepare cash flow. We depend on, when we prepare cash flow, we depend on balance sheet and income statements for discover the change between two years. In this example, we have balance sheet in 2009 and 2010. For solve this example, the cash flow, we will start ending cash balance in 2010. After that, we will calculate operating activities Net income, include net income, increase in account receivable, increase in inventories, and depreciation expenses for arrive to net cash flow. After that, we will calculate cash flow from investing activities, include investing activities, purchase of land and equipment, Third section include cash flow from financing activities, include short term notes and long term debts, and cash flow from dividends paid of shareholders.
For the, after that, when we calculate net operating activity cash and net investing cash flow and in financing cash flow, we will arrive to ending cash balance. Now, in this lecture, we explained how we can to calculate the tax and how we can to prepare balance sheet, also how we can to prepare cash flow. Thank you for your attention. See you in next lecture.